Hello everybody, it is Toby here, back for another super long Minecraft The Lord of the Rings episode, Raw Uncut, and today we are starting things off in our flax plantation because, as you can see by numbers and stuff on the screen, Hobbits plus 58, I have done all of the quests near enough for the Hobbits that I had quests for, and I did a couple more, and I've just got Barilla Long Hole there to give seven cooked pork chops to, I've been out collecting, and I've also been farming flax off screen, so I have got 61 string now, this took a hell of a long time, and especially when rabbits kept coming in to my plantation, I put a fence up, because these rabbits here, they what they do is they come in and they eat crops, so I've been slaying rabbits, okay, that one will run away now, and it, but I'm going to leave this now, but I've been coming in and slaying rabbits because as you can see they eat crops and I didn't have enough fences to go all the way around, so yeah. We're going to do that, but I've completed quite a few quests if we go into here and click completed. You can see what I've done. Five cooked chicken. Uh, we finally got Gorbalus's apples. We did another four cooked pork chops for Mr. Underhill. And we did eight books for, well we did some of these in the last episode as well. But we've done a few quests. And we have enough string to finally make our backpack, so we can do that. I was looking up how to make some more of that corn on the cob and stuff. So, oh, it's getting dark, which is alright, because we're not actually sleeping yet, but we'll find uh, the person we need to quest for, and then we'll craft up our backpack. And then I've been told in the comments some feedback on the series. Some of you were saying the hour was too long, and some of you were saying it was just right. Ooh. You got a big coin there, that was pretty good. Perfect. Anyway. Yeah, some of you were saying that the hour was too long, some of you were saying it was perfect, and some of you were saying that it wasn't really long enough. So I'm going to stick with the hour for now, and we'll just take refuge in this farm hut here. Yeah, I'm going to stick with the hour for now, and keep that going, because it's a comfortable length that I like. And... So yeah, I'm sorry if you did want me to not do any more of the hour. So there we go. Bound leather. Oh no, we need to smelt the bound leather. Do we have a furnace somewhere? Does it work in the Hobbit oven? I doubt it, but we could always try. Uh, let's put a wood plank in there. Of course not. We need to actually go out and dig up eight stone to get a furnace. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stick with the hour, and a lot of you said in the comments as well the music was a bit intrusive last time, so I'm going to literally just do the intro song that I have for my Lord of the Rings series, the, um, Orang, what's it called, Orang, uh, Gold Stars Will Glow, I think it was called, I think, and I'm going to play that out in its full, and then it's going to fizzle out, and there's not going to be any more music in the series, uh, in the episodes, because you said the music was a bit much. Uh, but yeah, a lot of you did say thank you for bringing the series back, and a lot of you said that you actually really enjoyed the fact that it's more a raw, uncut thing rather than a um, continuous jump cutty type thing. So basically, in today's episode, we are going to continue what we did last episode with getting various different equipment and stuff. And preparing ourselves for our ventures, and we're going to explore a bit more of uh, the uh, Shire here. We're going to make our way maybe over to the White Downs, possibly. Yeah, I think we'll sort of head in that sort of direction. I want to see what the White Downs are all, all about. Uh, because we are actually going to venture sort of out this way to Linden and the Blue Mountains before we actually venture out this direction. So we will be coming back to the Shire at some point, so we won't be leaving this for ages. But we're going to get some people all happy and yeah, try and get a good amount of alignment with hobbits and stuff. So we'll just grab up a little bit of coal. That will suffice for a bit and we'll, we'll just take refuge in this cave. So yeah, we are going to try and stick on the road as much as possible. And, I mean, I don't think there's much more we need to mine in here. Let's quickly dig a little way up. But yeah, I've been also told in the comments you can craft 
pouches by having two medium, uh, two small pouches to make a medium, and then a medium and a small to make a large. Not sure if that's true, so next time I find a small pouch, I'm going to see if that is the case. But we should be getting our backpack soon. So our food pouch is filling up. An egg doesn't, I don't really need an egg, do I? Uh, this could be quite, not quite good, a good, uh, um, yeah, this could be quite a good opportunity to dump some stuff. But I'm waiting till I get more large pouches to source some of this stuff away, by the way. But I guess we can uh, put this as our, like, memento pouch. So, yeah, we'll call it that. So we'll stick our riddles and our uh, invitations and troll gold and stuff in here. And this is going to be where we keep all of our mementos and stuff. And these two we're going to wait to craft into the large pouches. And yeah, we've got lots of stuff we can do in this mod, basically. So we're just going to have a bit of a chill, explore and stuff like that. So we'll take this coal back. And there we go, eight tan leather. Let's grab this back up. There we go. And craft that into a large backpack. So shift for information. Tier three. Okay, so we've got a big backpack. So we'll basically store our pouches in our inventory and we'll use our backpack to store some of this stuff in. Whilst we're not really using it. And then that sort of frees up our inventory. So we'll keep this on hand, our big backpack, as sort of an extended inventory. And we shouldn't leave our crafting bench. Actually, I'm going to... I can't bother to mind. I don't have an axe, so... Yes, now we are going to... Basically, now we've got a backpack, which is what we needed. We're going to try and do a little more questing to get at least 100 with the hobbits. So, we're going to wander down to Hobbiton, then to buy water, and then we'll go over to Waymeet. And sort of go sort of this direction to the White Downs and sort of make a vague direction over to uh, the uh, wilderness, the Ariador, over there. And, yeah, hopefully find people for a quest for along the way and do some quests. Raise some houses and get together a lot of random items that people may want. So, we need to be heading sort of south area to get that back down to Hobbiton. And, yeah, we're just going to go down here and have a look at what we can find. This series has been actually going really well. Let's have a look at this house down here. You guys seem to really enjoy the first episode, and yes, I know there hasn't been an SMPDX episode either. I've been really busy. Um, yeah, I've been extremely busy, so... And yeah, so sorry for this not being too frequent either. Some cider. Uh, anything else we need? No, let's grab our food pouch as well. Right, can come down here and we'll stick corn in there. Have a look in here. Stuff we could need. I don't really think we need much else unless there's... What drink do we have in here? Perry. Nah, I don't think we need any Perry. What's on the table over here? Some cornbread. We'll pick that up. Put the plate back down. Oh, there's a guy with a quest. What do you want? One cherry liquor. I'm not going to do that because we don't have any cherry liquor. I'm basically going to take it sort of chill. And only do the quests that we can really do. Uh, without too much hassle, because these quests aren't too difficult, the Hobbit ones. You just sort of need to get a couple random items for them. And other than that, it's not too difficult, whereas the quest for, like, dwarves and stuff is to kill loads of orcs and stuff, which should be more fun as soon as, obviously, we get better gear and stuff. And, yeah, I'm not going to do too much mining, unless I really have to, so I won't get, like, super mithril stuff and, that, and stuff like that. But we'll sort of rely on getting uh good what they called good what the, what are the, these things called that call it like sharp and handy uh modifiers good modifiers on our tools to make them good and then we'll upgrade them if basically when we get better modifiers and stuff so there aren't too many hobbits around hobbiton's got quite a few hobbit holes obviously so seems to be a sheriff fed the person in a feathered hat anyway Okay, we're at Hobbiton now. There's lots of houses around here that we'll have a look at. We're not at... Yeah, we are at Hobbiton. Good. 
So we'll have a look at some of the houses just off the road here in Hobbiton. See what we can find in them. See if we can raid them and get lots of supplies. And when we have a lot of supplies, we will make our way uh, towards Linden and that direction. Because, yeah, what do you have a quest? One cherry pie. Do not have a cherry. We'll accept you anyway, because cherry pies aren't too difficult to come by. There may be one in this house here. So we should get some alignment with hobbits and stuff. We could actually pick up a hobbit friend if we could get enough to hire one from a sheriff, basically. So we're in here now. What has happened here? Have you been killing sheep in your house? Right, then. We'll grab uh, books, because books are important. I don't really want any of this wool and stuff, so I'll stick that over here. Have a drink. Stick that in the chest. Do you have an under carpet chest? No. Okay. Well, we'll dump everything off in the chest here that we don't actually want to keep. Uh, chicken's good. We want chicken. We want cooked corn. We don't want perry. We don't want roast chestnuts. Uh, more cooked corn is good. And you have corn. Pipe weed we'll take because we have a pipe. And we'll take more of this mushroom stuff. Are these... March pan, I don't really want that. Uh, cherry pie. We'll grab a, we'll grab them up because they're good to hold on to. And you have ale, so not cherry liquor. But we, we don't need cherry liquor anyway. So in our food pouch, we'll stick a cherry pie just to hold on to. We don't. What did we just pick up? We don't want the grey wool. Put the plate. Where are you, Miss Woman who wanted cherry pie? You're out the back. So as you can see, it's not difficult to do Hobbit quests at all, really. We can literally just go, bam, there you go. Plus five, quest complete. As you can see, it wasn't a difficult quest, but... You know, and... Alright, so we have pipe weed now, so we can have a smoke. And blow a smoke ring. Oh, we've got another quest already. Four cherry liquor, no thanks. That's... I've, I don't see cherry liquor anywhere. We will come back out and grab you up as a quest if there's a cherry liquor in here. It's a farmhouse there. Hello, hello. What do we have here? What's this? Oh, they must have been stuff we already had, so that's good. Pork shops, yes. Bread, yes. Ale. Apple juice, no. Oh, it's raining again. Uh, compasses. Oh, string we will take. Does string go straight into this backpack? No, we have to physically put it in there. Rain's quite nice. Uh, what do we have here? Perry, not cherry liquor, so. Ooh. It's got, yeah. It's got darker. We'll go up to this little uh, Hobbit farmhouse now. Have a look at that. And wander around the place. If this is a flax plantation. No, it's wheat, thank goodness. Because if it was flax, I would have cried. Six apples. How many do we have? None. Um, we could chop down trees, I guess. Like, because apple, like, finding apples for Mr. Gorbulus was just not... What do you have? Trade. What can we buy? We can't buy apples, but we can't... We can buy wool. I don't really need to buy wool, either. Uh, we've got a green apple, but you don't want that. And we've got some cooked rabbits, so we'll take that as well. Just ate something. Uh, apples, apples, apples. I don't think I'm going to get apples. It just seems like more hassle than it's worth. But you've got a quest, and it's for cakes. And I didn't collect any cakes, so I'm not going to really accept your quest as of yet. Or as of ever, probably. So. We're just, yeah. It's kind of like easy to lose the road in the rain in the dark it's not a great no <laughs> it's not great weather for traveling so we could actually just take a kip in this person's bed real quick oh what has happened there that isn't healthy but we woke up and what do you have in here cider i love some cider but nope not good cooked fish and cooked venison pumpkin pie pork shop cooked mutton and rabbit all of which we want so we haven't got venison in our food pouch yet. Let's stick that in there. We're getting loads of food. This needs to be cooked up. We can do that. 
So let's get coal. Yeah, we'll get our coal. Stick that in there and cook that whilst we wait and see. Is there anything else we need to cook from the food pouch that is raw at the moment? Uh, not that I can see. There's roast turnips, not raw. Leek soup. This doesn't sound particularly appealing to me. Oh, that plate of apples. We need... How many was that? We don't... It's bad because they're not the right apples. And we're getting the cherries because... I am not going through the search for the cherries in this third season. That's been a joke from the first season and just wasn't fun. But there we go. Got ourselves some lovely steak to eat. That will keep us quite hydrated. Hydrated? Fill up. So we got 24 steaks. So we got, we're getting plenty of food. There we go. Do we have friendly fire enabled is what I meant to check. Oh, we've got some titles. Do we have Wanderer? We do. We are a Wanderer to start with. Let's just go for select title. <laughs> cool, we got Wanderer. Uh, friendly Fire on, so we can be attack them. Good. Cool. So we are now a Wanderer. With our hat. Um, where'd the road go? There's the road. So we'll follow on the road. And it's still raining. It's not particularly pleasant. But it's decent. Oh, these are some tall trees. Where are we heading towards? We need to go back to the map. Heading towards Bywater now. So there should be a big lake. But these trees are massive. I love this mod. It looks so much nicer than normal Minecraft. In my opinion, at least. It's just nicer, more than anything. Okay, there's a house up there we'll go and have a look at. The terrain is nicer, the trees are nicer, the general aesthetics are nicer. Just feel, it's, in my opinion, it feels nicer to play. That's just my opinion. I know a lot of you who like vanilla will disagree with me on that. But Oh, we got apples, but we don't really need them as of yet. We need to, well, we need to remember to chuck stuff on the floor that we want to hold on to. Except apples go in the pouch, and we'll remember that we have them. Some more cooked stuff. Good, good. Uh, nothing in there that we want. What do you have in your thing? Cider again. So yeah, we always have to remember that when we are having a look at um, what we have, we remember that in our pouch, we have a lot for quests and stuff. That's mainly because I would have stopped collecting certain foods a while ago if I knew we hadn't have to have it for quests. So holding on for it for quests are quite a good thing. Strings and books we can stick in our backpack. Didn't want to put the pouch in the backpack though. Pouches and backpacks stay on us for ease of access. Right, so where'd the road go? The road's over in this direction. And we're still kind of heading southeast ish. So we gotta go in this direction. The compass is at the top is really useful as well. That's a really useful thing to have and use to our advantage. But yeah, the rain isn't too pleasant. There's another house up here we can raid. There's an apple tree actually, we better chop this down. I believe it's an apple tree anyway. Yeah, apple wood. So if we chop that down, we should get lots of apples and they will be good for quests because apples seem to be quite a popular questing item. There we go. Alright, so we got some wood as well. That's quite useful as well. We'll stick that in there with our other stuff. And when we find larger pouches and such, we will be able to make... Uh, a coin pouch and stuff stuff like that. So we need some we need the venison. Uh, that's more of those turnip. Let's put the plate on the floor. Small pouch. So let's see if the rumors are true. Yay ah aha. Brilliant. Thank you, commenter. I don't remember your name, but thank you for commenting that. We'll put our coins in this one. 
Yeah, because we'll stack up on coins quite quickly. So this is our coin pouch. There we go. There we go. Oh, I'm clicking, clicking all the wrong buttons. So we'll put the coin pouch down there, and the memento pouch, and this random medium pouch. We'll keep the food pouch on us. Let's put it there. Actually, we'll keep the coin pouch. We'll keep all the pouches on us. What am I on about? Except this medium pouch. We'll leave that there for when we can do combining and stuff. Right, and what do you have in here? We checked this already. It was cider. So we'll leave this house now. Keep heading southeast through the forest this time. But yeah, so this is good because when we do quests and stuff and coins drop on the floor, we'll be able to pick them up now in the pouch. And then when the pouch fills up, we'll be able to combine them up into the highest tier of coin. So, walking through this forest actually really nice. I forgot to look at the apple tree we chopped down. We need those apples. There it is. Now, how many apples did the leaves drop? Uh, a couple. Good. And we'll replant a couple apple trees down here because we are nice to the environment. Good. Okay, so we're going to leave that now. How many apples do we actually get? Let's grab the f uh, let's grab the food pouch. And we got so we got five and seven. Oop, five and seven. Stick that back there. Pouches in this mod are so useful. Now where's the road? The road's over here. That was a lag spike. Um, okay, so yeah, basically, people who commented saying half an hour should be the length, we are already at 22 minutes-ish, and that's because, yeah, and as you can see, we haven't actually got too much done whatsoever, so half an hour would not be adequate time to do anything in, so an hour is the perfect length in my opinion, so, yeah, we are wandering in the rain, still through some Shire woods at the moment. And, okay, so we made it to the road. So which way do we want to go now? Do we want to go... Do we want to go west or east? We want to go west, so we'll go west now. In this direction. Through the woods more. You see the Orochs? Who are... Orochs. Are they called Orochs? Orochs. Orochs rings a bell. Orochs. No, Orochs are... Nasty orc cre creatures made by Saruman. So, yeah, we don't want to call them Orochs. Uruks. We want to call them Oroks. Okay. Let's get that. I still forget how to pronounce that. Okay, there's a quest. What do you want? Six plum. Do we... We don't have any plum. So we can't do your quest. I'm sorry, friend. We would do your quest, but I don't have any plums. Right. I love this valley. I really do. It's nice. It reminds me of where I live. Because I live in a place that has a huge pine forest out the back. And it feels very similar to this. It's quite nice. So, yeah, this is sort of a nice place to wander. Don't like rabbits. I've actually fallen out with rabbits quite a bit. So, oh, we get some rolling Shire Hills. Now we've got a little bit of mist on the horizon. Even though that's just my render distance being down a little bit, but... It looks like mist. It's kind of nice. Uh, let's have a look if these guys in their feathered hats have anything they want us to help with. The Hobbit Sheriff, Luno Bruce, Is We Grub, and Rowan Brandybook. Don't have anything for us to do. That looks to be a pear tree there. Mother apple tree. A house. I like this part of the Shire. I just, I just love the Shire in general, to be honest. It's the Shire. Who doesn't? Oh, we could do sword waggling because it's one. <laughs> Ooh, the Galadrian wanderer, wanderer is nearby. Let's see if we can find them. Thalion, where are you, Thalion? Oh, we um off camera a dwarvish warrior, dwar wanderer, a dwarvish trader arrived nearby when off camera. So uh, he was quite fun to find. We'll check this house out. Really quickly, let's grab this stuff up, put it in our backpack. Raspberry, no thanks. What do you have in here? We've got 
bread, cooked rabbit and leek soup. Oh, leek soup doesn't stack, so we'll drop it. But where's the Galadrian Wanderer? I really want to find this Galadrian Wanderer. Because I found a dwarf so far. I want to see an elf. Because there are... There we are. There. Here we are. So we got some elves. Oh, we're on something spiky. We got a trader. I do not trust any strangers. You must prove yourself. Oh, right. We have to prove yourself. I am our friend Thalion. Hello. Well, these guys are cool. Right. Well, we can't buy anything off them because they don't know if we're friends or not. So we'll leave, I guess. They don't want to talk to us, but they were cool. That's a cool encounter. I love random little encounters like that, but when I get into the wilderness, it's going to be more like orc hordes and stuff having an attack on me. Like, like uh, in the last season, if anyone remembers that, that was terrifying, but also quite fun. And yeah, I'm just going to have to run from them. Usually there's a hobbit hole over here. So we'll go check this out. I want to live in the Shire. I want to live in the Shire. It's so green and luscious. It's just lovely. But I lived in the Shire last season. And I'm not going to do it again this season. Let's just break their window. I'm a lovely person, I swear. No under carpet chest. Disappointed. Okay, so cornbread, please. Yep. We got more pipe weed. We're going to have so much pipe weed after this. Yes, I'm stealing your food. There was an apple there as well. Um, cherry liquor. <laughs> Let's collect this because everyone likes cherry liquor. Let's grab. Let's grab a load of mugs of cherry liquor. No, oh, we emptied it. Well, we got a lot of cherry liquor now, so. <laughs> um, yeah, we if we find people who want cherry liquor, we can actually give it to them this time. Rather than having to say no, sorry. And hopefully, I mean, Sod's Law, they won't need cherry liquor anymore. Oh, we got an invitation from Bill Wiggins and a small pouch. So we got another uh, to the Brandy Buck at Buckleberry. It's another invitation. We won't keep this one. We've already got one. Uh, let's combine the memento pouch with the small pouch to make a large pouch. And again, call it the memento pouch. Is it raining? I think it's raining in real life rather than the game. Because I can hear rain. Oh, there we go. Thank you to you, you commenter, you random commenter, for telling me about that whole thing. About um, crafting pouches. Because that's made life so much easier. I've sort of wandered off. I don't want to stray too far from the road. Oh, we got a quest. Move. What do you want? It's the fr three cider. Of course you want cider. What's this? Of course that's Perry. So we've been to every house that wants cider. I finally found cherry liquor for everyone who wants it, and now you want cider. Really? Okay. You're not my favourite person at this point in time. How much did you want? Three. Well, we'll grab this Perry mug anyway. Let's grab the mug. Let's see if another house nearby has cider. Because all the houses have cider, but we can't find a house, actually, because it's just hobbit holes. Where's the, where is the road? North. So north is this direction. Let's go back to the road. Let's ignore that person. And let's forget we ever saw the cider quest. That sound good? I think that's a good idea, because that's really annoyed me. Let's try and find us a cherry liquor quest. No more quests. Come on, I want to. I want to get to at least a hundred alignment in this episode. But everyone wants such ridiculous things in quests. Okay, so let's have a look in this house. Oh, there's a tavern there. We'll have a look in that as well. Hello, hello. Don't mind me stealing your stuff. What do you have in, the, in your house? Ale. What do you want? Except, 
We need pork chops. How many of them? Six. We have five. Be right back. What do you have in here? Lots of string. Remind me never to pass up getting string again in my life. Okay, so hopefully the tavern will have some cooked pork chops for us. Uh, to give to that lovely person over there. And then we will have done another quest. We need one pork chop from the bloated hobbit. Let's see, do, are there any bloated hobbits in here? We got a quest over here. Eight cooked chicken, except how much cooked chicken do we have? It's the wrong backpack. Pouch. Nine, perfect. We can do, we can leave that there. Here. Oh, we got a tom... We got, we got a note from the quest, that's unexpected. Right. Deep in the old forest down by the banks of the Withywindle River, there lives a curious creature by the name of Tom Bombadil. Those who know of him know something of him by all accounts describe him as a jolly fellow of curious mood and manner. It is not quite clear who or what Tom Bombadil is, but there have been several accounts from elves to suggest he may not be of mortal mankind. There is also widespread belief that Tom Bo uh, Bombadil is a wielder of good magic after the manner of the wizards, though, is li though little is known of the precise skills he may possess. While I myself have never met Tom Bombadil, I did a good I did have the good fortune to meet an elf not so long ago who mentioned Tom Bombadil by name. Gildor of Riverdale he was, and on our path he crossed in the lone to in the lone lands and spring as spring was beginning. He and I were both travelling west, I alone, him with a company of elves, so I journeyed with them for a time. Guys eight pages. On many nights, Gildor and his companions would tell old tales and sing strange songs. In one of these tales, he mentioned a curious man by the name of Tom Bombadil and his wife, Goldberry. The daughter of the river, Gildor claimed... The daughter of the river. Gildor claimed that Bombadil could sing songs to make the trees grow, the rivers run, and the stars shine fairer by night. Naturally, upon hearing that, I took great curiosity in this Tom Bombadil... Though he was known to Gildor and his folk by another name, they called him Iowain Benada, the oldest and fatherless. Soon by the borders of the Shire, I parted ways with Gildor and his companions. But to this very day, Bom Tom Bombadil continues to fascinate me. I wonder if I shall ever have the chance to meet him. Wow! Let's get our memento pouch out and stick that in there. What? What a story! Um, yeah, what's this for? Hardy, 1.25, 1. yeah, we don't want you. Take the book, though. Um, yeah, Tom Bombadil. I'm glad they are giving reference to Tom Bombadil in this. Oh, there's a sword. An iron dagger. How much attack dagger is? Three. 4.5. Um, eh, I guess we'll hold on to the iron dagger. It's quite cool. It's quite a cool find. But I, I prefer it to my wooden sword anyway. That's breaking. Cherries. We want cherries. Come on, just give me... Give me a... Oh, what do you want? Four buckets? <laughs> no. Buckets are hard to come by. Okay, just give me some pork chops. All I need is... One pork chop. One pork chop for the lovely man we met earlier. Don't, oh, what do you trade? We can buy a pork chop. Let's get um, six coins and buy ourselves a pork chop. That's the food pouch, Toby. We need the coin pouch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello, trade. Let's buy ourselves a pork chop. Perfect. Welcome, customer. What else do you sell? Not too much. What can we sell? Not too much. So... That's quite useful, and I swear if I find a pork chop now, I'm gonna get a little angry, but it's kind of nice to get the achievement for trading, because trading's something I really did skip out on last season, so it's good they're actually ha using the trading system. So, yeah, I'm quite happy that we traded then. Let's go and give our friend the lovely man... Oh, what do you want? 25 willow wood? No, that's a bit, a bit excessive. Let's go give the person in this house the pork chops. Wow, I'm a little lightheaded after reading that story of Tom Bombadil. You have to excuse me for reading, by the way. I'm not the greatest when it comes to reading. But, yeah, it's quite interesting. Where are you? Here. There we go. We are 104 alignment with hobbits now. So what does that mean? 
What, what can you do when you get 100 alignment is what I want to know. Uh, I can actually Google it here on my phone whilst we talk. I'm going to Google uh, 100 alignment hobbits. Okay, let's have a look. Alignment, Lord of the Rings Minecraft mod wiki. So, the, uh, yeah, I know all about the alignment meter and stuff. Okay, so, where does it say how much benefits of alignment? Trading, unit hiring. Oh, um, when you reach plus 1500, you can hire units. Use the chat titles for a specific factor and by earning 100 alignment. So we can get a chat title. Let's have a look what we can get. Shields titles. So we can now get Hobbit ones. Took Yeah, we can. The Shire, Swordsman, Spearman. So we get a load of Hobbit ones now. That's quite cool. Um, yeah, we can get a load of Hobbit ones. That's really cool now. Quite happy with that. Uh, yeah. But I'll stick with Wanderer for now. Uh, shields. How much do we need? Well, obviously Hobbits won't have shields, but... Anyway... Let's go back onto options and the map. Okay, so we got 100 alignment with hobbits. That's exactly what we wanted to do. We should probably get back to the road by heading south over here. And then continue heading west. Keep doing quests along the way. Uh, and find ourselves going... Three apple... We don't have any apple crumble. Sorry, mate. Keep doing quests and raiding places along the way. Off into the sunset with our little lion dagger. Which I really like. It's a nice little thing, this iron dagger. It doesn't do much damage as the wooden sword, but the wooden sword was a little boring, and iron dagger's much nicer to hold. Um, okay, so we've got a picnic table here now. Take some of the stuff on here, I guess. Fish in that. Throw some plates in the air. Didn't know how high I could throw plates. Let's have a smoke. <laughs> got another quest. Four cherries! Guess who's got cherries? Guess who's the one who has the cherries this time and we don't have to search for them? Me. There you go. Quest complete. Have a nice day, Lilac Oaks. I am the wandering quester. <laughs> There's not much else I need to say to that, is there? That's w literally what I do. So, how far have we, have we got to make? We're almost at Waymeet, so I want to see what the White Downs are all about. And then make our way out into the Far Downs and out into Iriador. Sort of staying on the road a bit. Seeing what we can find. As long as we stick somewhat to the road, we should be alright. So, uh, kip the night at this person's house. That's what I'm going to start doing, is kipping the night at people's houses. There we go. It is high day 30th of Hamley, ha Hallimath. Shire Reckoning something, something, something. Shire Reckoning 1401. Books, string, and feathers we'll take. Pick up the string. Let's hope we get some book quests coming out soon. So if we're staying west, it's a Hobbit Sheriff here. Hello, Hobbit Sheriff. Let's go down to this house now. Literally, this is going to be a little repetitive, but we are literally just making our way slowly out of the Shire and getting everything from people's houses. Cooked corn, bread, pipe weed, and apples. As you can see, the Shire is the best place to stock up on food. There is no food that we don't need here. We need to get rid of these cherry liquors, or we could just get absolutely wasted. Maybe at the end of the episode, I don't know. No, that's a bad idea. I've had enough of getting wasted this week. Let's not... Let's not get wasted in Lord of the Rings. Chocolate. Oh, yeah, I don't want that. Cherry. <laughs> it's just a thing now. It's like OCD, but with cherries. I have to collect them. 
And I like breaking people's windows. Again, you don't have a little chest under your carpet. What is wrong with you? Pumpkin pie, fish. Uh, apple crumble cake. And no, we don't want them. Apples, yes, please. Apples, yes, please. Venison and steak. Yes, please. Go straight into the food pouch. And in this side, we got more stuff on the table. Nothing that we need, though. And out here we have beds and books. Books go in the big backpack. There we go. And out the back we go. Sorted. Uh, road's back here, is it? Where's the road? We're heading west, so the road's north. There we are. Found the road. Not lost. Don't worry, everyone. I didn't lose the road there. Going back through a forest again. Uh, forests are quite nice. That's a ball of wood. I hate these ravens, because if you hold food in your hand, they steal it and fly away with it. But yeah. There will probably be times in the series where times get tough. We'll probably die quite a bit. We do want to keep our inventory, so I'll have to change the game rule at some point. Because we don't want to lose our inventory, that's just not fun. Because I don't want to start from scratch. Or do I? I don't know. I feel like if we do die, losing our stuff's going to be really tough and getting food again is going to be really tough. So I don't think I'm going to want to lose my inventory. So we can actually do that here if we go to uh, mod up not... Oh, open to land, allow cheat, start land world. Then we can go slash game rule. Keep inventory true. There we go. Forgot about that. So there is a way to cheat, even if I don't have cheats on usually. But that's just to do the game rule. I'm not going to cheat at any other time, obviously. Because I want to enjoy this just as much as you guys do. So cheating is not going to be enjoyable, is it? So... Let's grab up some of this stuff. Throw these plates back. Don't, don't hit anyone. It's alright. Didn't hit anyone. Back to the road. We've been going for about 42 minutes now. Uh, we'll go for a little... Yeah, we'll go for the hour again. The hour long mark is a good place to start and stop. And yeah, we will... Make our way this way. And where are we? Where are we in the way of the place? We're almost at Waymeet. So Waymeet's going to be quite a good place because we can head north, south, east or west. Obviously we're going to continue on west to Mickle Delving and to the White Downs. But we could have gone up to Li uh, Little Delving, up to Nobottle and Needle Hole up in the North Malls. We'll adventure up there at some point. Uh, but we don't particularly need to. So we're going to keep going uh, west of Mickle Delving, and when we basically what we'll do is we'll make it all the way up here, uh, past Tower Hills. We'll go uh, into Linden and do our usual around route. We'll go up into Nogrod, come back down out to Forlord, Forlond, and then we'll come back around the bottom. Unless no, we'll yeah we'll come back around the bottom and then back in. And then we will go down Long Bottom Way. No, we won't. That's not a good place to go because that will take us down into there. We want to continue going straight and go down into the old forest and have a look down there. And get killed by grumpy trees is basically what we're going to do. And yeah, I'm being, I'm basically planning our route. So here we are at Waymeet. This is the big crossroads. We're going to continue going west to Mickle Delving and to the White Downs. But... As you can tell, traveling in this game is taking a long, long time. So we will see this road again. We will come back through the Shire, restock our food supplies. Uh, although all the ones along the road will be raided from me. But we will come back to the Shire at some point and restock all of our food supplies and stuff like that. And yeah, it should be good. Uh, but that would be after we've done our whole venture to the Blue Mountains. Hello, hello, uh, deer, sheep, and pigs. We are invading your farm to come and steal things because 
I'm a I'm a wanderer. What do you have trade? What do you have to buy? Bamboo, corn stalks. No, we don't want to buy any of your stuff. But we will take some cooked mutton and fish for our food pouch. Goodbye. Nice doing somewhat of business with you if you count business as stealing. Stealing your food and stuff. Um, but yeah, let's go back to the back to the road over here. And go to this farmhouse over here because uh, this seems to be the land of the farmhouses. We didn't check what crop they were growing. Doesn't really matter. What crop are you, are you guys growing here? Seems to be pipe weed. Oh, we can grab all of that up actually. I think we actually have to smelt smelt the leaf to get pipe weed. Well, let's why not? Why not grab it all up? Uses. So yeah, we smelt it into pipe weed. I don't think I can actually be bothered to do that. Where'd you go? You have. Collect three bronze ho. Uh, no. <laughs> do you think I have any bronze? Do I look rich? I've got a blue. Got a blue hat on. I don't. I'm not rich. Oh, I should make it purple. I have a purple top hat if you're wondering. Yeah, I I had some eventful scenario happen in that purple top hat, which could come in a story time with Toby at some point soon if you really want. But I want a purple hat now. I need to find red and blue and make a purple hat. Because, yeah, I need a purple hat in my life. It's just standard. That's what's going to happen. A purple hat is needed. Hello, do you have any purple? No, but you have some stuff. We have a lasting hobbit pipe, so we don't need that. What do you have in here? Nothing. Take the pumpkin pie, though. Back to the road. Where's the road? There's the road. So we're going to keep heading west. It's a good way to head. See if we can find ourselves. What what color dye do these th do these guys make? Like, look, magenta. We don't want magenta. We want purple. Okay, so there's blue and red. Blue and red. We can have a purple hat. Everyone, this is this is very important. We can have a purple hat. This isn't a drill. We can have a purple top hat. We got red. We have blue. Together, we have purple, and with our hat, which has a feather in it, which we can't dye. Oh no. We need to get a new hat. <laughs> oh no. We need to get a new hat. We have the purple dye for when we do. This is going to happen. It's a big pillar over there. That's quite interesting. Hallas, the Ottoman collectors arrive nearby. I want to find this Ottoman collector. Don't know what an ornament collector would look like, because last time we were looking for elves. So, this time we don't really know what we are looking for. But there is an ornament collector nearby that I want to find. It's not going to be in the water, is he? That must be... Yeah, well, that's not on the map, actually. That's quite a steep. River cliff. Not river cliff. Lake cliff. Cliff. Um, Where would the ornament collector be? The elves weren't too far. Just intrigued at what an Ottoman collector looks like and possibly what they have to sell. Hello, hello. It's a windmill there. But we don't we want to find the Ottoman collector. There he is. Oh he looks a bit like me. He actually does look a bit like me. Hello, Ottoman Collector. You look like me. So we got Smith. Ooh, we can Smith our dagger. It's quite interesting. Reforge? Cost three what? Oh, three coins. Should we reforge our iron dagger just to see what it does? See if it makes it any better. Smith. Smith. 
Got a Daylist Merchant nearby as well. Oh, slow. Well, that wasn't helpful. Let's try again. There's a Dalish Merchant nearby I want to find as well. Let's try once more. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Just actually, let's do two. Let's do two more reforges if this one isn't any good. Smith. Just. Eigen. Eigen Dagger. <laughs> Alright, let's reforge it once more. I don't dag. No, Keen. Is that supposed to happen? I don't. I don't da dagger. <laughs> Let's see what we have to trade. So we can sell any of this stuff to buy suspicious meats or a, shri a shire heather. You're not very trustworthy, are you? Where's our Dalish one? I want to find the Dalish. Dalish one's going to be nicer. I'd assume they're nearer the road. You are not trustworthy. Remember, the Ottoman collectors are not trustworthy, everyone. Don't trust your iron dagger to otherwise they write iron dagger. -er. What does it do, though? Um, no plus one melee damage. That's all right, then. I'm not sure if it's a bug or that's actually what's supposed to happen. But... Like, the name, I mean. Is that the Dalish person? Yes, this is the Dalish people. Oh, you've got a blue feather. Oh, that's cool. Trade, what do you have to trade? Ooh. Goodbye. Ooh, that's actually quite good. Well, how much money do we have? Let's let's get this, our stuff out. We've got plenty of money, so... Let's, let's get upgrades. Come on. So we got a sluggish dwarven battle axe or a lasting dwarven sword. Dalish cracker or a lasting Dalish battle axe. Oh, let's get a battle axe. Let's grab one of them. Gifts of death. Let's use that instead of our Iden dagger. I'll <laughs> put that in the mementos because that made me laugh. Uh, we got a Dalish pastry and a Dalish cracker. Should we buy a cracker? Let's buy a cracker. Thank you, kind woman, for giving me this stuff. So, where's our memento pouch? I want to put the want to put the Iden dagger in our memento pouch. Let's open the cracker. Ooh, what did we get? We got a silver ring. So we got a silver ring. That's quite cool. I want to put that in our memento pouch as well. There we go. So we got a Dalish battle axe now as our axe. That's pretty cool. Thank you, um, Dalish woman, for giving us such great stuff. So we're still heading somewhat west to Mickle Delving. And yeah, we've had quite an eventful episode. Actually, I want to take a screenshot of the Dalish traveler for uh, the thumbnail of the video. It's going to be a recurring theme that we get thumbnails within the episode. Hope you realise this. Where's our Dalish Traveller? There we go. We have got ourselves a Dalish Traveller. We got a lasting... I forgot to turn Discord off. I'm a silly person. I'm a silly person. I'm so annoyed at myself. We'll raid this last house and then we'll end up, because I'm a silly person. But we got a lasting Dalish battle axe. That's, I'm really happy with that. Didn't seem too expensive either, so I'm quite happy with that. Uh, stop. Discording, please. Don't ruin the video. Let's stick you in here. So yeah, we got an Idron. I got we got an Idon Dag Dagger. Oh, we got a chest. <gasps> Gold nuggets and silver nuggets. Let's put that in this bag. We finally got our chest. How, what a way to end the episode there. Finding all of this cool, cool stuff. Let's just ignore Discord. It will be off for next episode. Once we collect up everything we need. And yeah. We got some cool stuff this episode. I particularly enjoyed the story of Tom Bombadil. That was really interesting. You got a quest. One cherry liquor. 
<laughs> Come on, can you can you can you take a can you take a few more, please? Ooh, a green small pouch with silver coins. You can dye the pouches. Ooh, let's put the coins on the floor. Well, we got another small pouch now. That means we can get this medium pouch. And we get a green large pouch. Ooh, that's quite nice. So I don't know what we'll use this large pouch for. Uh, maybe we'll use val it for valuables. That could be quite a good idea. So our green one's our valuables one. That's a good one. Valuables pouch. And our backpack's sort of just miscellaneous. Backpack's the miscellaneous pouch. So, there we go. That is that. We have got uh, the road hit. There's a hob. How rude of you to build your hobbit hole in the middle of the road. Anyway, there we go. We've had a good episode this episode. We're going to do one more hobbit hole raid and then we'll save the rest till next episode. So, as I raid this hobbit hole with you guys, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Minecraft The Lord of the Rings. We're just getting a little bit of feathers and string. I hope the length doesn't bother you too much, because I am going to be keeping it at an hour, because it is how I feel comfortable with the amount of progress we get done in them. And Discord is still going off, so I've got to go check that. My phone's going off. Everything's going off. So, I will be seeing you guys soon. That's about enough stuff we need from this hobbit hole. Let's check the final room in here. Plenty of stuff to collect. Let's put the shakes down. Say goodbye to this random hobbit woman and say thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Minecraft The Lord of the Rings and I will see you in the next episode.